At Loyola, I was involved in another group which was called the Psychology of the Black Experience. And that was led by a professor, her name was Abana Brown, known as Joan Brown. And a number of us students at that time, we all wanted to find our African roots. She said, y'all want to go to Africa? And we're like, yeah, yeah. So she said, you got to raise money? And I'm like, raise money. So we got Rasan Rollenkirk to come in and play. And all the money from that went to getting us to Africa. And that was 1972. That was my first trip to Africa. I'd never been outside of the country. We get there in Africa. We were in Nigeria. OK, so we go in Fela's nightclub. And I look up there, and I'm like, wow, look at those lights. It was like a tube, you know? Then the lights whew, from the bottom. And then I look up, and I said, there's a figure in there. Then the lights from the side shot up. And I was like, oh my god, she's naked. <laughs> it was one of Fela. And at that time, I didn't know it was one of his wives. And that was the first time I saw Fela, OK? Then we got on a plane, and we went to Ghana. And I got a chance to study with a dancer that Darlene Blackburn knew in Ghana. His name was Jean Twa. Then I came back and I worked with Darlene, you know, and I danced with her company until 1977. But February 1977, I was chosen to represent her company at the Black World's Art Festival, Festech. We were representing the uh, people of color from the United States. There were people of color from all over the world. I had never seen that many people in one place, artists, not just dancers, musicians, poets, writers. I mean, it was just like unbelievable. Darlene, uh, she was trying to show the relationship of African dance and social dance here in America. So she had a piece that was called From Africa to America. And that was the piece that we did <laughs> on stage with Fela. One side or one couple would do the African dance and the other couple would do the American dance form, like the Boogaloo, or, and show the relationship with the African dance. Now, I didn't know that Darlene had met Fela in 1971 when she was in Africa. And he said, when anybody from your company comes, I want you to dance in my shrine. 